Mike buys his ice cream packed in a rectangular prism-shaped carton, while Carol buys hers in a cylindrical-shaped carton. The dimensions of the prism are 5 by 3.5 by 7, and the cylinder has a diameter of 5 and a height of 7. So, which container holds more? And then, how much larger is one than the other? Okay, well, let's sketch these out. A rectangular prism, right, something like this, is holding ice cream. And we're told that it's 5 by 3.5 by 7. So maybe 7 is the height, we'll say. We'll say 3.5 is the length. And we'll say that 5 is the width. So the volume would just be these three things multiplied. 5 times 3.5 times 7, right? So let's just figure out what that is real quick. 5 times 3.5 times 7 is 122.5. So we have our volume. That's how many cubic inches this holds. The cylinder, however, will be different, I think, because here the diameter is 5. Okay, so we have the cylinder, and the height's the same. Okay. So diameter is 5 here, let's say, d equals 5, and the height is 7. However, the volume now is pi r squared h, because it's the area of a circle, pi r squared, times the height. So if the diameter is, is 5, that means the radius equals 2.5, and the radius squared equals 6.25, and the radius squared times the height equals what? Well, we have 6.25. 2, 5 times 7, it's 43.75, right? But, 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 we're multiplying that by pi. So times the pi, times pi, or second exponent button, 137.44. So the volume equals 137.44 cubic inches. And they now want to say, well, how much more ice cream is that than the rectangular prism holds? So now we just press minus, and then we subtract the 122.5. And they want us to the nearest tenth, so it's 14.94, or therefore 14.9 cubic inches. And that's it. All right, hope that helped.